Really? Really, son? Right before we shoot the video? Well, I'm happy we didn't have your clothes on yet. Oh, my goodness. But you're so cute. Yes, you are, buddies. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today is our five month update. Ain't that right? Kate is actually five and a half months. I'd like to get into the month before I do the update video. I don't want him to be a week into the month and I'm talking about updates. So I don't even know what he's doing in that month. So it's almost six months. Today is the 12th of November and he will be six months on the 22nd. Hit the right big man. Huh? Oh. So yeah, it's a lot going on as y'all can see. One thing he is doing is hitting. I don't know where he gets that from, but his little attitude is terrible. He gets the attitude and he starts kicking his feet real fast, punching, like balling up his face and I'm like, where are you getting this attitude from? Huh? Where are you getting your attitude from, little boy? Oh my goodness. And he's growling. I don't know where he gets this growl from. Urgh. We gonna growl for him? He is growling. Now, we do have two dogs, but neither one of them growl. <laughs> neither one. Brinks, he'll growl. He won't even growl. He barks when... Um, he needs to go out, eat, or something like that. Duchess, she'll only bark when somebody rings the doorbell or something like that. Or, he, or she hears something outside. But they don't, like, just growl. So I don't know where he's getting the growling from. He doesn't watch anything with any growling. So, oh, sorry, it's my phone. He um, doesn't watch anything with any growling. So I don't know where he gets that from. But he has started talking, like, saying some real words. Um, his first actual sentence not even a word my baby said a full sentence um he says i love you i have a video that i'm going to insert at the end of the video so you can actually see him i finally caught him saying it the first time he actually said it uh, we were just sitting around in the living room his dad was getting ready to go to work and was just you know saying bye like bye babe love you love you man bye man and he said i love you and we looked we were so shocked, like shook it. <laughs> we were just sitting there looking at each other like, did he just say it again? So Corey left to go to work. So the, all that next, well, it wasn't that day. The next day, I was all in his face with the phone telling him I love him. Just saying, I love you, I love you. Because I wanted him to say it again. I had to get it on tape. Nobody would have believed that he said it. So... He finally said it, and I got it on camera. So if I can insert that video, I'm gonna insert it so y'all can see. It melted my heart. Like what? Five month old says, "I love you." Oh my goodness! So now he says, "I love you, dad, dad." He just started saying "dad, dad" the other day. He said "mama" first, but he only says "mama" when he's in like distress, when he's crying or something. Then he'll say "mama, mama, mommy." Mama. But now he starts saying dad dad is dad dad everything. Dad 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 Y'all know my baby looks so cute. Look at his little outfit. I tried to match his fly today. I tried to match his little swag. Get your hand. Let them see your outfit, boo. Let them see your drip. Let him see. <laughs> His grandmother sent him this. She lives in California. And every month, every time he turns a month older, she sends him a package. So this is one of the outfits in his little package. It looks so cute on him, a little Adidas track suit. So, yeah, so mommy had to put her little Adidas shirt on, try to match his fly, you know. I, I can't keep up, though. He is not studying me. That fist trumps everything i'm telling you 
But yeah, so he is saying that, saying mama, saying dada, repeating everything that we say. He knows how to ignore you on top of the attitude. His ignore game is so strong. He looks the other way. I call his name Kate, Kate, Kate. And he just. And then he'll look, he'll kind of like look to see if you got something that he might be interested in. And he'll kind of like go like this. But he's not turning all the way around. I mess. And I'm like, boy, what? He's still screaming at the top of his lungs and cracking up. He thinks it's so funny. But now it's louder. Huh? It's louder. I scream it louder, mommy. Say hi, buddies. Luckily, I don't wear a wig or a weave because his hair pull game has gotten stronger now, too. All he does is want to pull hair and eat hair. I mean, hard. Pull it, yanking it, putting it in his mouth. And I had some little notes right here because this little boy is, he's doing everything. So I had to write it all down to remember. So my baby actually had a photo shoot with Ingenuity. First, he had a shoot with Baby Einstein, and it got canceled, and they had to reschedule him. So, they actually ended up rescheduling him and putting him on an uh, Ingenuity shoot, and he killed it. I'm so proud of him. Oh, my God. He, yeah. Say, I killed it. Yeah, he killed it. He went in there and just... Yeah. Laughing, smiling, playing everything yeah. they needed to do. You know, all the babies did really, really good, but some of them they had to like warm them up or they had yeah. to go back in and wait until they were um, woken up from their nap or, you know, until they were less cranky. But he just went in there and killed it. He killed it. I was so proud of my baby. So hopefully, my baby will get his um, pictures chosen to be on the front cover of the new product that's coming out with them um you know we can't say the name of the product but hopefully we'll see my baby in, on amazon and target and walmart wherever they sell ingenuity you will see his face on that new product yeah he already would you're not even six months and you're not even a year old <laughs> and you making money because it was a paid gig so yeah, I'm so happy for him. I'm so happy that I submitted him for that. He actually got booked for it. So that's definitely exciting. You know, I definitely want to see whatever my son is into and pour into whatever he's into. He was so sleepy too because the shoot was like right at his nap time. He goes, he takes a nap at 2 o'clock. The shoot started at 1.30 and then like ends till 4.30. And he had to shoot, for, shoot with two products. So he was even working and smiling through his nap. It was like when I would hold him, he would be whiny. And, you know, I could tell that he's sleepy. But he wasn't being like screaming. He wasn't hollering or crying like that. But he was whiny. And I could tell he's sleepy. But when I put him on that set, he killed it. Like laughing, smiling. And then I would get him back and he will be whiny. Like I'm sleepy. It's crazy. Like this little boy is amazing. So my baby has been killing his baby solids, um, he's been killing it, killing it, killing it. He has had so many foods. What you had, man? So what I do is I feed him a regular vegetable and then I will let him have a fruit. I don't feed him fruits first, of course, because you don't want them to get used to sweet foods. So I always feed him a vegetable first. And if he eats all of the vegetables, then he will get a fruit. And it's been working. He hasn't rejected a vegetable yet. He kills them. He crushes them. I don't have to trick him into it. I don't have to add anything to them. He eats his vegetables straight up. So I have made a list of everything that he's tried because I can't remember it all. My baby, he eats something different every day. I try to pick something different, even though you're not supposed to. But, you know, I'm like, why not? If it's not hurting him, I'd rather him try everything to yeah. see, you know, what sticks and what doesn't. I do know that he eats his green vegetables slower than everything else, of yeah. course. But he eats it all. So, I can't complain about that. Of course, he kills the fruit. He pushes the um, spoon in his mouth. Are you growling? Yeah. Rawr, rawr. 
<laughs> he pushes the spoon in his mouth when I'm giving him the fruit. He loves apples. Of course he loves apples. Right now he's on blueberries and apples mix. Um, he loves that. Also a good combo that he had was um, pineapple, avocado, and banana together. I think it was. Or apples. Apple, banana, and avocado. I think something like that. But he loved it. So, so far... He has had squash, butternut squash, green beans, peas, spinach, zucchini, sweet potatoes, apples, pears, banana, pineapple, corn, asparagus, blueberries, orange, and kale. So, yes. Yep, so he's been killing it and he's been eating them all. I'm so proud of him. Um, for Thanksgiving, I think it's going to be the first time that we're actually going to give him food food. Like, whatever we eat, we're going to let him eat it. I'm going to buy. I'm so excited to buy his little plates and everything like that. His silicone um, plates for his high chair. Um, just to see him go at it and eat. I don't know if I'm going to let him just attack the food and get all messy. My OCD and my anxiety won't let me do that. So, I'm going to, of course... Um, feed him but like you know meats and stuff like that i'm gonna let him have that at himself um so yeah that's as far as the food update um usually he eats about a half of a jar of food i say he might eat about two ounces um of the food maybe yeah maybe about two ounces two or three ounces of the food or whatever um <laughs> <laughs> that is his food update he is killing it with the food he's just growing i can definitely tell he ain't missing no meals of course as usual um he's still breastfeeding on demand around the clock even though of course i'm not gonna stop him from breastfeeding because he doesn't eat all day long um he eats solid foods all day long um he definitely is very much on the breast very, and he looks for the breast religiously, so I couldn't even not give it to him if I tried. That is his main source. Of course, through the night, he is still waking up maybe once um, for a feeding, so he definitely has his milk. Um, his hair is actually growing in perfectly. I'm still using the Shea Moisture Kids on his hair, and it has not been back. The cradle cap has not been back since i began using it um if you watch my first update video his four month update video um then i told you that he had the cradle cap around the crown of his head but since i bought the shea moisture kids i think i have it oh yeah so so since i started using this can you guys see that yeah on his head um it hasn't been back at all and it keeps his hair so moisturized. I still only wash his hair once a week. I do not wash his hair every day. I wash it once a week. I use a Vino Baby on his hair. And then I just follow it right up with the Shea Moisture. I just um, massage it in his hair really, really well before bed. And it it does perfectly. It's growing in nice and fluffy. His curls are popping. Okay. Thanks to mom. <laughs> No, but his curls are popping, so that is a blessing. Um, he is, as uh, far as clothing, he is in a six months, six to nine months. He, it's mama, it's mama time. Mama. <laughs> so he um, has been wearing a six months since he's turned five months. So he's definitely in a six to nine clothing. Three to six months is obviously too small because he's about to be six months. So yeah, he is definitely in the correct size. I think this outfit is a six months. Yeah, I think this is a six months. And it fits him pretty good even though he's got a few more weeks before he's actually six months. Boy, you are sucking on that hand. So as far as sleeping, he sleeps pretty good um we are sleep training at the moment he does pretty good he's still we are trying i'm trying to transition him from our room to his room which he does not sleep in here 
at all. He has a bassinet and arm room that we have him in, but I, I'm still slowly transitioning him into sleeping in the bassinet. I still have a nighttime routine. He has a time he goes to bed. I put him in there. I let him have at it. Some nights he cries. Some nights he goes directly to sleep. And we just work it like that. But as soon as he turns six months, we're going full throttle with putting him in his room. Letting him have at it and put himself to sleep. Which is, he's getting better at it since I've still been doing it. I've still been doing sleep training at his nap time throughout the day. So he's pretty, he's getting pretty used to it. He's just um, not used to being in his crib. So yeah, so that's a whole nother battle. But he's... He used to he's used to going to bed and laying down at a certain time of night every night. So that's a start. Um, he only wakes up. He I, if I lay him down about nine o'clock, he'll wake up about maybe one two o'clock for a feeding, and then I'll feed him, and then he might wake up again around six or so. Um, then I'll feed him again, and then he'll just go back to sleep. So he has pretty good stretches throughout the night. I'm just trying to get it to where I don't have to feed him at all during the night. So I do stretch out his naps, his feeding times during the daytime. I don't feed him as often as I would, just so that at night I can stretch those uh, night feedings out as well, and eventually eliminate them so we can both just sleep through the night. Um, in our house, his room is upstairs, so also on my part, um, it's a little bit more easier for me to have this bassinet in my room. That way, when I just get up and have to feed him, I can just sit up in my bed, feed him, and then lay him back down to his bassinet. But Daddy is ready for him to get out of our room completely, and I am too, because I just think that now it's time. You know, he is almost six months, and I just feel like it's time for him to be in his own room. He's so advanced for his age and so mature. I think that, you know, if I stick to it, he'll get it. I know it crushes every mom here, that baby crying and everything. It kills his dad more than it kills me. I, I could put him in his room and let him, you know, do his thing and walk away and be fine, but his daddy be hurt, okay? He, he does not like hearing his baby cry like that, but I understand but at the same time, I'd rather go ahead and do it now versus having a real struggle later or have him in our bed or in our room at two, four, or six years old. Yeah, so we can't have that. So it's now or never for us. Um, so I know eventually we'll get there. I just I just don't want to force my baby um, if he's not ready. And I know that I wasn't 100% ready. I was probably about like 97% ready. But yeah, that other 3% had me like, let me go get my baby because he needs me. Okay, so... But as soon as he turns six months, we're going full throttle with the sleep training. No if, ands, or buts about it. We're going to get Cade used to this room. So we will definitely update y'all. Um, maybe in his seven month update, I will talk about that. Give his whole little six month month to get used to that. And then we'll update y'all with all of that. Um, he is continuously growing. Amazing us. I'm still enjoying my baby. Enjoy being his mommy. He is a hot mess. I don't know where his little personality comes from, but I'm enjoying seeing it develop every single day. Um, he's also been having his little Spanish lessons, um, so that's pretty good. He's learned some, learned some Spanish words, you know, so we're getting a start on that. So when he actually starts talking, he'll be familiar with the language and it'll become, start becoming fluent for him. I'm so excited about that. Hopefully we can get on some swimming lessons soon. I definitely want to start those once he turns six months. Baby boy has also taken his first flight. Um, he went to California with me. I recently lost my stepsister um, over a liver transplant that her body had rejected. So me and baby boy had to fly out to California. Shout out to the bay. So we had to go out there and support the family and you know support my pops and you know be there for my sister because you know she was so sweet um, we miss her dearly she got Kate so many things and we're just so thankful for her and so thankful that she got to meet him but yes he did really good on the flight I couldn't vlog it because actually I had went out the night before we had to get up really early in the morning to fly out and I didn't know what to expect with it being my first flight with him. So I didn't want to have the camera and be trying to push the stroller, vlog, and I don't know what's going on. So, um, yeah, but he slept. It was a, what, a four and a half hour flight. 
five hours at the max. He slept the entire time. Um, people didn't even know that he was on the plane. They were so surprised. Like, we didn't know there was a little baby on the plane. Oh, my God. He did so great. So I was thankful on the way home. He also slept. But he was very uncomfortable. I could tell that he was. He squirmed a lot more and whined a little bit more. But he didn't cry. And he didn't whine loudly. Um, he just kept moving. So I just had to constantly keep repositioning him. Because I did have to hold him the entire time. Of course, he had, can't have a ticket yet. So. Yes. And what I would say that I would have done differently traveling with him. Is definitely invested in a car seat backpack carrier thing for his car seat and I, I had his carrier in my hand to carry him in on the front of me um, through security but I did not put it on and I kept him in the car seat which I should have with my first mind and kept the carrier on because I would not have to have taken him out which I had to take him out in the car seat I had to take him out and they had to check the car seat do all that my diaper bag kept getting flagged because I had a large bottle of aquaphor in it but they let me go with that. Um, so, yeah, it was just a lot. I lost my driver's license. And once I got to California, just moving around with him was just so overwhelming. I just couldn't vlog it, which I wish I would have because it was an experience and it would have been an excellent vlog. But next time I definitely will. So, yes, this little boy has been on the move. He has been some of everywhere. Alabama, Mississippi, California. Just making all of his rounds. Meeting all of his little family. Um, we may or may not head down to Mississippi for the holidays, so we are trying to make up our minds about that. But if so, I would definitely be doing some vlogging um, because he will be eating some Thanksgiving food. So, yep. Get that out your mouth. So, yeah. I just wanted to come on here and update you guys and let you guys know what was happening with baby boy. And we hope that you all enjoyed this video. Um, please like, subscribe, turn them notifications on so you guys will know whenever we post a new video. Um, and we will see you guys in the next one. Ain't that right, Manny Man? Huh? You gonna say bye? Ooh wee! You got an attitude? Okay. Bookie boo. Bookie butt. You don't want to say nothing? Huh? Say bye. <laughs> say bye, man. We'll see y'all in the next video. Bye! I love you.